Hi everybody, welcome back. <clears throat> In this video, we will show you how do we create a Salesforce REST connection in Oracle Integration 3. So let's begin. So the prerequisites for Salesforce REST adapter, creation of connected app in Salesforce and creation of Salesforce REST connection. Let's discuss and see how do we create a Salesforce REST connection step by step. So the prerequisites to create Salesforce REST adapter is to get the Salesforce domain URL in the form of https column slash slash your domain dot my dot salesforce dot com. You should know the Salesforce API version and then client ID and client secret. That is what you need to create Salesforce connection. So let's see how do we get all those three and then create a REST connection. Let's begin. So you should have the Salesforce account. First of all, if you don't have the Salesforce account, you can simply go to demo dot developer dot salesforce.com and then you can sign up very easily. After you created the account, you can go to login dot salesforce.com and log in here. After you log in, you will be landed onto this page. From this page, what you need to do, you need to go to the setup. And there, from this quick finder, select search app manager. So we are going to create the connected app, which will give us the client ID and client secret, first of all. So to create, to get the client ID and client secret, you should have the app manager, meaning the connected app. Go to this app manager and click on a new connected app. So here, let's give a name, let's say Salesforce, HFDC connected app here. For you can say for OIC, it will give the API name connected contact email. You can keep your personal email, whatever email you need. You can leave other fields as is, it is not required. And here, the second section is API enable OAuth settings, which is required. Click this checkbox. When you do this, it will ask for the callback URL. So you can put any callback URL for now, let's say localhost, which is mandatory. And then you need to select the scope, which will be used. And basically what permission you are giving to this app. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing here few scopes. One is managing the identity URL services like ID profile. And then I also need to get this manage user data via APIs and one more refresh token. After you do this, you also need to go to this. You need to set, set, uh, select this enable client credential flow because we are going to use client credential authentication. So when you check this, it will give you a warning. Simply say, okay, scroll down, scroll down and then save. It will take few minutes to take the changes effect. So click continue. So after you click on a continue, you will be again, go to this manage connected apps where you can see the manage consumer details. So when you click on this manage consumer details, you will be landed to a, a different page where it will ask for the verification code, which is sent to your email address. Let me I got the verification code, which I will enter here and then verify. And then it will give me the consumer key and then consumer secret. That is what I need. That's fine. Now let's go back to OIC and go to the connections page. And from here, you can click on a create. And let's search Salesforce REST, Salesforce REST. Let's say Salesforce REST connection and simply say create. So when you click on a create connection, you would need to enter the Salesforce domain URL 
and Salesforce domain URL would be like this. Select this till this, sorry, till lightning. Okay, after that, what you need, you need to put dot my dot salesforce.com. You need to take the domain name and then my dot salesforce.com and then you need API version. If you need the API version, what you can do, you can follow this document, the OIC document, click setup and in this like setup, search API. Again, go to here, API. From the API, select this generate enterprise visual, which will take you to this menu and click on a generate. So when you click on a generate, it will give you the enterprise visual where you will find the version that you need to enter. Or you can consult your Salesforce team also. And here is the version 60.0. Okay. Then you have a security policy. Under security policy, you can choose client credential or authorization code credential. So I will choose client credential for now and will enter the client ID here, which is this. and then client secret and then test. So if everything is okay, then your connection will be tested. Okay. So it is not doing this reason being, it will take little time, but what you can do, you can also refer this document to check if everything is done or not. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I need to this as well in the run box text enter the Salesforce user for whom you want to configure the client credentials. So what you need to do in the connected app details section, click manage, right? So let's go back to this again, app manager. See your connected app, which is my, this one and click manage here. Click on Edit Policies. Under Edit Policies, search. Okay, not this one. Yeah. Then as. And search. You see, this is the only user I have. Tax support. And then save. Saving. And I guess this is the only thing that we need to do. Yeah. Okay, now let's try again. So it may take a little while because it says like you need at least uh, 10 minutes to change, to make those change affected. But you can see the same similar approach is being used to create another connection. Save. You see. This is the connection which is created successfully earlier. Yeah. So let me try one more time and see if that works or not. But after some time, it will start working. Okay, no problem. So guys, this is how you can create your Salesforce REST connection in OIC. I hope you find this useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.